Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Claire, this is Polly Put The Petal On and today I'm coming to you with a huge home bargains haul um, and I've got a few bits from Poundland and I wanted to compare something with Tesco. So without further ado, we did go for essentials. Um, as you know, I don't have a home bargains in my town um, or any high street shop. So, you know, when we go, we, we do stock up on bits and pieces you know um so what i did go for was storage boxes and i needed a toilet seat didn't get the toilet seat um <clears throat> but i did get the storage boxes these are 32 litre storage boxes i'm going to point you down as you can see because i'm a bit breathless today it might sell um as you can see 32 litre i've got Gosh knows how many rolls of deco mesh in there, stored in there. I have started to use them. Um, what I liked about these guys was the price. $8.99 for three. Three um, 32 litre storage boxes with lids. Um, and, you know, they're ideal. I, I've used all mine up already. You know, I bought six. My partner bought three. And I've, I've used mine already down the petal shed because I have been making some headway down there. You'll be pleased to know it's not complete. Um, and so I'm still surrounded by my own flowers up here. Um, but that's because it's quite a task uh, because I'm doing it properly, properly. Um, and we got, you know, the weather was a bit cold. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this haul. But at the end of this haul, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna be telling you about the giveaway. Um, I've never done one before. I've, I wanted to do one um, at a thousand subscribers. Um, I didn't want to. I always wanted to get to a thousand subscribers on my own merit, and so I didn't want to do giveaways and stuff like that. Um, and when I got to a thousand subscribers, it was it was whilst I was gre well, I was still grieving, but it was when I was. When my sister, when I first lost my sister, so it wasn't it wasn't the right time, and I wasn't coming on YouTube anyway. So just forgive that little bit of you know. I still find it very hard to talk about and around that time. So I didn't get a toilet seat, guys. So I will be doing a giveaway. Um, uh, <laughs> can you tell I've never done one before? I will be telling you about my giveaway. Um, we didn't get a toilet seat, but we did get these toilet rolls. Now, I've not tried them. They're called Comfy Soft Bathroom Tissue, Luxuriously Soft. And in this pack, I'm going to, I'm going to, because I am a bit breathless, so I'm not messing about. Uh, 18 rolls, 220 sheets. Now, I don't usually go for that. I, I squeeze the roll like that. And to me, that's really quite thin. However, they were only... 3.59 for 18 rolls and I'm just going to, I'm just going to check and they are quite soft and they're not, they're not uh, overly thin. So yeah, we'll give those a try. 3.59, 18 rolls, um, really quite good. So, uh, then I thought, you know, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to have a change. Change is as good as, as, good as a rest, so they say. And that's a cliche, isn't it? Do you think? I don't know. Uh, I de decided, I saw this and uh, I thought, yeah, I'm going to try this instead. Because normally I have the yellow one, the happy. Um, and I thought, no, I'll go for this. This is love. Exotic bloom, love. And, you know, it smells really quite lovely. So, yeah, I'm going to give that a go. But also with the softener, guys, I then saw this. And like I say, we were in there for essentials and the majority of all this stuff is essential to us. Um, and it's much cheaper, even including petrol, to drive out of town and go and pick up, you know, the bits and pieces that you need. That we need so 
I got this Comfort Apple Blossom Fabric Conditioner and honestly, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, all day odour defence. So I thought I'm just going to stay with my, um, you know, my spring theme, Apple Blossom. Love it. It really is lovely. It does smell like apple. Um, yeah, but obviously there is those undertones of, of comfort. You know, you get that with everything, don't you? I got myself some elbow grease because I love this stuff and it's solvent free. And I'm I'm very funny with the cleaning products because, you know, um, I mean, I use bleach and I use elbow grease. Um, and I do use a little bit of Fabulosa disinfectant spray on my kitchen sides. But apart from that, I don't like anything that's overpowering, anything that's going to make me cough, because I just think, you know, what damage is that doing to your lungs, that breathing all those toxic chemicals? Can't be good for you, can it, guys? And um, so I'm just, that's just me. That's the way I am. So, and I'm not saying I am a chemical chemically free zone, because I'm not. But what I'm saying is I limit it. Um, I'm quite right, so I got my usual, sorry guys, they were 2 99 that was 1 99 and that was 1 79 I write the prices on, because uh, it's, you know, I'd be here all day with a receipt, uh, this, these are 1 49 and there are 70 wipes and they're fantastic for wiping your hands when you come out of a shop before you sanitise. Um, or even if you've got tacky sanitizer, sanitise first and then go in with that because it's killed it's killed the virus, the sanitizer has. This is my well, it's a fact if it's you know 70%. It's killed the virus and then wipe the thingy off with your hands. So um I've got some soda crystals, 79 pence. Just to, just for the drains, really, and stuff. I mean, it does say, and I've not got my glasses to the table, which is silly, isn't it? Because you know I'm as blind as a bat. It does say, use in every wash, or you can put it in your washing machine. And I didn't know that. 51. <laughs> 51 and I didn't know that. But, you know, I do... Um, I do like to do my... my my drains. Uh, I've got some cling film. Now I, you know, um, my partner's obviously picked that up because I prefer Aldi's cling film. At the moment, I've gone off Aldi. At the moment, guys, you know it's very repetitive, isn't it? Um, and we have been mixing up our weekly shop, to be honest. Uh, you know, because we were in lockdown, weren't we? we still are to a certain degree and you know i thought i need some excitement in my life and if it's just the weekly shop you know then let's mix it up so we've been to tesco's waitrose you know but i do like aldi's cling film i've got some glass and window wipes just for my mirrors not for not for um not for windows because i have a karcher um i got some andrex washlets and these are biodegradable uh, <clears throat> and obviously fine to flush. Now, I don't know. Why do they say that on packs, guys? Why do they say recycle with bags at large supermarket? You know, you're not to do it at home. I just don't understand that. Um... I've got some uh, fairy. I like these big these big bottles. They last me for months. I do have a dishwasher, um, but I do hand wash my pans and stuff. I don't ever put those in the dishwasher, so it does last me a, a, a good a good while, months. Really does. And sometimes I even try and test it out and <laughs> mark it down on the bit anal me, mark it down on the calendar, and see how long it did last. You know, because I. <laughs> I like to do things like that. 
Uh, I got some suntan. You know, we've had beautiful uh, sunshiny weather. It did take a turn for the worse with the with the temperature, uh, mind. However, you know, Friday, um, when we went to Home Bargains, um, you know, it was wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, scorching your eyeballs out. So I thought, well, you know, let's, let's, and they had it on the shelf. I was a little bit disappointed with Home Bargains this time. And mine is a, a rather large one. But you know, some of the shelves were empty and stuff, and I don't like to see that. Um, and there was things that I couldn't get. Um, and so, yeah, and a toilet seat was one of them. Um, I don't know whether they, if they do sell toilet seats. It's just that I thought, well, we'll definitely get one from there, but we didn't. Uh, and then I didn't want to go to B and Q with the massive queues that were outside B and Q. So, so uh, I got some Malibu, Malibu, <laughs> Malibu. Malibu dry oil spray, medium protection, uh, UVA, UVB, uh, SPF 15. Now, and, and I also got some Ambra Solaire protection lotion, 24 hour hydration, and this is a factor SPF uh, 30, high protection. Advanced UVA protection, so and it's got quick absorption. So I've got that and that is a cream and I've got that and that is a oil, dry oil. Uh, the reason why I have, because um, I will find something else in a minute, it goes along, it's here. And then I've got some carrot oil because it gives you a great tan on your legs. And it's a low uh, UVA and UVB of six. Your legs, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I have different factors for different parts of my body. Um, I will go a th between a 30, 40 and 50 for my face. Um, I have a 30 on my uh, shoulders and chest. I have a 15 on my arms. And I have a carrot oil on my legs because your legs just don't tan, do they guys? They just don't tan. So, well, they do eventually. But um, by the time they, they've got a good tan on them, you know, you, you're putting your jeans back on. It's it's the start of autumn. Um, maybe not quite, but, you know, so I, I use that. And that carrot oil is really quite good. It's got a tan extender in it and it's uh, deep tanning. It accelerates tanning. I did, I did moisturisers, water resistant. So it is good. And that's by Calypso. So, I, you know, I use that every year. Um so yeah so that's the the suntan we got some paracetamols as you know uh they don't touch the sides i don't know why i bother now i got myself um i got myself a foot pack i love this um i've hauled this before 89 pence yeah 89 pence i've hauled it before uh, they're just little boots that you take out uh, you put them on your feet and you just put your feet up for 20 minutes. This is a 20 minute one. It's not that peeling one. The peeling one's fantastic. However, it's quite messy because it really does peel your feet and over a period of time. Um, this is a moisturizer um, and it really is lovely and it smells divine too, because it's coconut. So um, I bought myself that. I was looking for a hand one and I couldn't see one. Um, and then I got, this uh hair sheet mask never used one of these before but my hair now we're gonna have to excuse this wiry business today but in fact i took it round there uh because there's nothing i can do about it guys you know it's desperate it took a different texture because obviously my greys are coming through and when the, when the greys come through it just goes like wire so that's the state of my hair but i'm booked in for next tuesday so that's lovely and that was a gift that um that i got for my birthday off my brother-in-law and um my sister-in-law and they you know credited me a hairdo at my hairdressers which is absolutely lovely and i can't wait to use that gift um so i'm booked in for next tuesday so i've got this hair mask just give it a little bit of uh well, it says it's got mar marula oil in it to nourish and condition your hair. So, you know, I'm all for a little bit of that. It's su suitable for vegans too. And it's a cap and it's a 15 minute treatment. So that was that. And that was 99 pence. 
I think these are really good, you know, these these um, products. Um, well, I can speak, I can't speak for the hair mask, obviously, because that, that will be the first time I've ever used that particular brand. But the foot mask and, you know, those sheet masks and stuff, they are really good. So I also picked up some Speedy Lawn Seed and Feed. My garden's a bit of a mess, my grass. Because Alfie goes and uses, he has a wee in it and where he wees, the pat, it's all patchy. Plus, uh, we had a, uh, my old fireplace, <laughs> it's been in the back garden all winter because it's so heavy, but we do need to get it to the tip. Um, we did, we have asked, did anybody want it free and nobody's taken it. But the men at the tip, they may take it, you know, rather than tip it. And we'll ask them anyway because they often do when they put things in their storage thing. So, but it's been lay on the grass for some unknown reason, not my doing. And so there's going to be a big square where where it's been lay. So I got myself I got myself three boxes of this, and it was eighty nine pence. And there was a gentleman in in the because I was on an R and I I wasn't sure what to get, and he said it was good, great stuff. So I really hope. That it is so it's speedy lawn seed and feed fast results for a lush green lawn now apparently it's a shake and rake but um it's grass seed and a lawn conditioner so it's got uh, i may have to go and get my glasses in a minute guys because this is doing my head in i can't see so you shake the box um and then you you rate your garden, shake the box, you know, titivate it all around um, and water it. And, you know, it's got seed and fertiliser in it. So, you know, the only thing is we've got to keep Alfie off the grass while it's, while it's until that fertiliser is soaked in. But it doesn't give you any indication of how long it takes for that fertiliser to soak in. So I will Google that. <laughs> I have to Google all sorts these days, don't we, guys? Um, Volterol. Aches and pains. Uh, now, this was 6 49 for a 50 gram. Um, now, I'm just going off the one that we got from Morrison's, and I'm sure that was more than 50 grams, but that was £11, so... You know, and it's got 1.16% uh, diclofenac in it, uh, which is the one up, the anti-inflammatory one up from um, brufen diclofenac. It's a stronger brufen. So yeah, back muscle and uh, back and muscle pain relief. So Volterol, uh, six forty nine. It's expensive, but it's good. Um, chamois leather, patchwork chamois leather, one forty nine. Um, it's my partner that bought that's bought that because he also bought this cockpit shine. I thought, is he flying a plane? <laughs> you know, uh, I would say you, the interior of your car is an interior. You know, of your car. Uh, not a cockpit, but, you know, what do I know? Cockpit. <laughs> so, I think that's, and that's um, the AA, that. Uh, and that was one ninety nine. So, he's bought those for his car. He also picked these up. Adult vitamin D gummies. Um, now, I've been taking vitamin D for a couple of years because I was getting terrible pains down the long bones of my thighs and they did discover I was low on vitamin D uh, because I don't go out very often that's probably why I mean I do in summer because I, I can go in my back garden but um so yeah so I I've been on vitamin D for years but and I've been telling my partner about this vitamin D because I'm 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 a strong believer you know that uh, it does wonders for you. It it boosts your immune system. Uh, so he he got these the chewable, chewable gummies. One a day. I'm gonna have to get my glasses, and I'll be. Would right you believe, back. guys? They were just there on the table. 
<laughs> the whole time so um so yeah it's, it's just vi vitamin d gummies one a day 30 and they were 199 i've been telling him for a year to take vitamin d and suddenly he sees gummies <laughs> and um he buys them then i've got some salad cream because we're probably going to go on to food stuff now guys i've got some salad cream uh 30 percent less fat i love salad cream i thought this was quite expensive at two pound guys uh seven uh 570 mils you know i don't really know because i normally go for the aldi uh version you know so i don't know about heinz um i've not bought it for a long time so i don't know whether that's cheap i don't know whether that's um whether that's i just don't know but i do know about mayonnaise and this is an 800 gram uh jar and it's 199 and that is a good price and um i do love my hellman's mayonnaise now i'm going to just put these here because i'm going to run out of room on the table because i've still got my my um easter decoration there guys so i'm just gonna put a few of these bits back in the bag which will be boring for you so skip on sorry that'll do and like i say i think we're moving on to I think we're moving on to food. So we're not massive crisp people. Well, actually, my partner is. He loves his crisps. So he picked up some Sun Bites, 100% whole, 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 whole grain, sweet chilli flavour, high in fibre, natural flavours, 120 calories per pack. That's not bad, is it? Having said that, mine are better. <laughs> Uh, I've got some Ringo's sour cream and onion, and these were 95 pence. I think those sun bites were 89 pence for six bags. There's six bags in here. Um, and I also got the salt and vinegar because I love salt and vinegar if I'm having a sandwich. If I'm having a nice ham sandwich, I love a salt and vinegar crisp with my ham sandwich. And I've been like that since I was a teenager. So these are 59 calories and these were 95 pence again. But these ones are 60 calories. So I know it's only one calorie, guys, but there's a difference there. So I'm assuming it's the flavour, isn't it? Sour cream and onion, salt and vinegar. It must be the flavour that's added that extra calorie. But it's worth watching. Don't assume that all, all packs are... Sorry for the rattling. And I've got some salt and vinegar uh, quavers. I've never seen them before. Don't assume that they're all the same calories, the Ringo's. That's what I was trying to say. And these are 83 calories a pack. Um, salt and vinegar quavers. Never seen them before. And these were £1.50. Now, I didn't realise that as I was uh, putting them in. I mean, they're still going to be worth it to me. Uh, but 85 calories if you calorie count him. And I have gone gone on to um, kind of sort my ever expanding waist waistband out <laughs> today. Oh, I've got my high waist jeans on today, guys. I look back on that video. What an unsightly mess on those mid rise jeans. So, it, you know, I've got an apple shape and the best jeans for my shape are high rise. So I've got my high rise back on. Um, oh, I did pick up this little fella. Not really keen. 2 99 he was. But I keep getting cats in my garden that are leaving a mess. And um, my partner says that they, they don't like owls. So I thought, well, I wonder if I put this fella in. And um, and I did buy one for my mum as well because she's having a uh, problem with cats as well. You know, 
they've dug up a spring bulbs and that's just not on. <laughs> she's furious. She's absolutely furious. I've got some mealworms. We're not on food now. Wait a minute, guys. What's in this bag here? Oh, that is food. Should we stick with the food? <laughs> well, that is that is food, but it's for the birds. One tip, guys. I did say this is a long haul. Now, I got these for my mum, sugar-free. She, she has them quite a lot and she really likes them. Now, I don't know where else to find them apart from sometimes in January in Aldi's. Um, but I know you can get them in Home Bargains. These were 99 pence and these are di sugar-free digestive biscuits. And my mum really likes them. They're high in fibre. There's 400 grams. But how many... Per biscuit, how many calories? 57 calories per biscuit. I don't know whether that's thingy because I haven't compared it to a normal digester. And here I am with my skinny wits because when I last hauled these skinny wits, guys, somebody, one of my lovely subscribers, told me about the Bliss Bars bliss bars so i thought well you know i still went with my skinny whips but i also thought i'll try these bliss bars now i hadn't got my glasses at the time in the shop and i wondered what the difference was with them that one's gluten free by the way uh, i've got that literally for the flavor i mean it's going to be quite an unusual flavor it's white chocolate and lemon um, but I, I'll, I'll give that a try. But that, I see, is gluten-free. High in fibre, less than 99 calories. Uh, I've got no, I haven't got another thing to compare that with. However, on the... I've got double chocolate in both the Skinny Whip and the Bliss. And there is 2.3 grams of fat in that. And there's 2.3 grams of fat in that. So what saturates? 1.4, 1.4. So sugar's 9.5 in this, but 10 in that. But there is 0.7 grams of salt. So they're 98 calories and they're 96. So, you know, depending on what you're doing, what, what diet you're doing and stuff. And then I've got, uh, you know, I've got the two chocolate orange. But there's 3% of fat in there and 4% of fat in there. 7% saturates, 9% saturates. So this is looking like the better bar. So I'm just going to give those a go, guys. I don't know whether I'm repeating myself. I got my old juicer out and uh, I, I'm going to be, you know, years ago, I used to juice every day, uh, almost every meal. I was hugely into uh, Joe Cross, uh, who I discovered on YouTube. Uh, I watched his video called Fat Sick and Nearly Dead, and he cured his, his own illness uh, and lost a ton of weight and improved his skin, everything, uh, just by juicing. So I did a bit of that myself. However, when I was diagnosed with a heart condition, I was told it was too extreme. So I, you know, just have the odd one every now and then. However, I bought my, when I did my food shopping, I bought my um, ingredients for, to, to make juices all week. Um, and there's two juices in particular that I like. I like the mean green juice and I like the, um, it's raw beetroot, raw carrot, raw apple and ginger um, and so they're the two juices that i'm going to be having all week plus i've got my bliss bars um and you know i'm just going to eat healthy healthy <laughs> i'm going to eat healthy now i'm going to contradict myself because look what we found a little bit of nostalgia lemon puffs do you remember them guys I used to love a lemon puff. Now let me see how many calories are in there and whether I can break the diet. Per serving, which is two cookies. 
140 calories per two so you know you you, you could have one at 70 calories so if you compare that with your sugar-free biscuit which was 59 was it then you know and it, they've got cream in them haven't they uh i picked up some fajita mix i love this stuff uh 49 pence and we picked up the medium and the medium heat picked up some strawberry diner sticks love those um per 100 gram 389 calories how many's in there I don't think it even says the weight, which is unusual, isn't it? Four hundred grams. So you could have a quarter of those for three hundred and eighty-nine calories. I don't think I'll bother, I just have the odd one. Um picked up some fizzy fizzy bottles. I think they're lovely in flavour. Um, not too keen on the fizz, mine. Uh, I think that's another for you to mix. Oh, those, those were seventy nine pence. The fizzy bottles. These were one forty nine for the tub of sweeties. The bliss bars were ninety nine pence, and the lemon puffs were forty five pence. And I think I need to do my job properly, don't I? Pick my son up. Um, uh, old Jamaica gingerbread, gingerbread, ginger beer. He loves this stuff. Um, it's quite. Uh, it's got quite a fair amount of. It's got ginger tang to it. Yeah, ginger root extract. Um, and that was. It says one pound five on the label, but in actual fact, it was fifty five pence. There's another box of the biscuits for mum. Um, I'm hoping to score some brownie points with her. <laughs> she fell out with me at the weekend. She was having a terrible day and when I tried to talk to her, you know, she didn't want you to. She, she rejects you, so she fell out with me. But it was only for the day. And I thought, oh well, you know, I'll best leave her to, to do that, what, what she's doing. Bloody awful this grief is and what it does. It really is. So anyway, so I picked up some uh, medium foil trays. Now I did that because I make my mum her dinner and um, I, I normally put them in a takeaway tub and put the lid on, you know, the, the mash and the, the carrot and sweet and stuff. But for the roast potatoes, because I, I think of her wanting to put it into the oven, you know, and, and letting them roast. So I put them in these little... Um, in these little trays and there's a 12 pack uh 79 pence not only that guys i do make um and i'm going to be making one this week i do make a crustless quiche a slimming world version of crustless quiche because i was a member of slimming world for a long time before we got locked down um and so i'll be making one of those because they're really quite nice and tasty so i do those in there then we've got some cod liver oil, 150 capsules. Now, I believe that you should just buy fish oil, not cod liver oil. But, you know, my partner was in a different aisle and he didn't get the message. <laughs> and he's bought them because he's got a dodgy leg. Um, we don't know what part of his leg is dodgy, uh, whether it's hi his hip or his knee. Whether his knee's compensating for his hip or vice versa, we just don't know. And when he went to see his surgeon, his surgeon had lost his... MRI scans and told him to go and find them which is the most bizarre thing you know where's he meant to find them you know what I mean so he bought these cod liver oils in the, in the hoping and praying you know that um, they do help in fact I should get myself some but the thing is I can't stand the um, well my stomach doesn't like the gelatin in the capsules in the gelatin capsules so I'd have to drink it and I don't think it's a very nice flavour, do you? So yeah, fish oil for future reference is better than cod liver. There was a thing in the in the news. I think David Beckham mentioned it once, didn't he? Uh, you know, cod liver. That's where they filter all the rubbish. 
you know, and we know what's in our seas and oceans, don't we? So, um, yeah, they filter all the rubbish. You don't want that oil. Um, so, yeah, fish oil. Then my son's favourite, you know, we can't go anywhere without getting him his favourite breakfast. So they were they were one ninety nine, which was good because they're quite a big box. And we picked him two of those up. And I picked up a, a flavour it Piri Piri marinade and this was 59 pence. And again, I will put this probably in my roasting bags with some chicken. And that's how I'll that's what I'll do with that. What flavour was it? Piri Piri. <laughs> Just said it, haven't I? Goodness me. Right, so now we've got some mealworms for the birds. I haven't seen the robin for a little while, guys. A little bit miffed about that. I mentioned him, and I saw him that day that I mentioned him, and uh, I've not seen him for a few days. But there has been some activity in the garden. You know, I've been in the in the petal shed, and um, my partner's been uh, making a little fence down there. So it could quite possibly be that. Now I've picked these uh, photo frames up. I hope you can see. The light is quite, um, they're four by six inches, 10 by 15 centimetres. Um, and they're quite a deep, can you see that they're like those box ones, they're quite a deep. Now I picked up three of these and I've written the price on one. And there it is, £1.19. Oh, you can see yourself. Um, well, you can't see yourself, you can see me. <laughs> Uh, so I picked up three of those. My son, um, he, last year when I went to Landidno and the, I told him about the texture in this, in the great, or the other side of the great orm, um, and I asked him would he take the photograph for me, and he did, and he had it printed off, um, and so I've got that. It looks like a picture postcard. And then for Mother's Day, he, he's a student, so he hasn't got much money. So what he did do was he printed off a photograph of me and him when he was a little boy and uh, a photograph, a family photograph of all four of us um, one year when we were on holiday. It's my favourite family photograph. And he printed them off and gifted me those. And I love them. I just really love them. They don't have to cost anything, do they? Uh, gifts from your children or anyone indeed so long as that that thought's in there and so yeah so it was absolutely lovely so I picked up those so that I can put my photographs from my son into those a nice grey as well I think there was another colour I'm not going to bang on about it because I can't remember what the colour was um now I'm just going to go on with these drinks here because I picked up some aloe vera light. Now, I love this stuff, aloe vera light. It's got real uh, pulp pieces, aloe pulp. Um, very nice. I love it. Now, it's not to everybody's taste. I'm fully aware of that, but I really enjoy it. And I, and I really enjoy aloe vera. I did have an aloe vera plant off my friend, my hairdresser friend, Sharon. And I've gone and killed it because what I did was I it, I was getting those, if you use peat-free uh, peat compost from Aldi's, a bit of trivia for you here. I find, I've done it before and then I discovered what it was. Peat-free compost from Aldi's, I don't know whether you're supposed to just use it outside, but if you pot a house plant, then you get those flies in it. You know, those they're like little fruit flies. So I had to move it out of my kitchen because they were awful. So I moved it into my petal shed and um, it's died and I'm gutted. But aloe vera, I love aloe vera plants. They're really great for burns and cuts and stuff. And I love aloe, it's really self-healing. Self-healing? Wrong. Uh, the actual, the plant does self-heal because you can cut it and it'll self-heal and then, you know, you, it, it doesn't kill it. So original fl flavour, low calorie, and like I say, it's got the, uh, you, I don't know if you can see, the pieces of pulp. Can you see? And I like it. And I also got some, because I like this too, um, Ben Shaw's Dandelion and Burdock. Now that uh, aloe vera was 
that one's got no price on it because I bought a couple of bottles of that. It was <coughs> 49 pence a bottle, so I bought two. And then I've got this dandelion and burdock, Ben Shaw's dandelion and burdock, and that was 29 pence a can. That's not bad, is it, at all? Uh, I, I probably won't drink that. I might have a taste of it, um, pour some in a glass and have a little taste and then pass it on to my son. And then my partner, because they're doing clothes in there, aren't they? In in uh, I don't know whether they've always done them in there, and I've just I'm just not I've not just taken interest, but they're doing clothes. And uh, Jeff Banks, I discovered when I was looking at these. Now he bought two of these t-shirts for five pounds, so he picked himself up. Uh, what does it say? Paradise, a low estate, Hawaii. Uh, lovely colour blue, don't you think? And that will, I know that that um, colour suits my partner. He's got blue eyes. So he picked up two of these, exactly the same. Uh, they would be three, three pounds each, but you got two for five. So he picked up two of exactly the same because he's picked them up for work. Um, and then he picked up two of these. T-shirts again. Tokyo Sport Federation. Quite nice. Uh, just in black. Three pounds. Again, three pounds or two for five pounds. But he also picked himself up some shorts. Can't show you because he's worn them and taken them off. Worn them and taken them off. <laughs> Taking them away. Um, six pounds them shorts were. So, you know, but I was quite, in fact, I was quite dismissive when he said, look at these clothes. And I went, no thanks, clothes out of own bargains. But I didn't realise they were Jeff Banks. <laughs> and uh, and I, I'm not a snob because I shop at Primark. But even so. Uh, so, yeah. So that was that bag. Now, guys we're nearly coming up to the end and then we'll talk about that giveaway so then next door is a poundland actually let's get on with this so i'm gonna have to i really wanted to do it in a theme <laughs> i wanted to do it in a theme um but still in home bargains let's not mess about now i've got some books i've got a little baby um great nephew um he's our donna's my sister that died he's our donna's grandson and she was helping to bring him up with her husband um and he's coming up for one so you know i figure or buy him some stuff but I want to buy him something that's going to be of benefit to because he's a single grandparent now you know bringing that baby up and so I want to buy things that will be of help to him um but I did buy some these these little books um 89 pence this one speedy race car little board books you know um so speedy race car and then I've got little lamb and little duck and these were 59 pence each little board books again and the recommended retail price on that was £2.50 what's it on that one £4.99 on that speedy car I don't know if they make that up but I don't know so you know there's the little duck and there's the little lamb so I've got him those and then I've got him some my foot again board books 59 pence again recommended retail price two pounds fifty my first words toys my first words animals oh yeah cat dog horse rabbit lion and elephant so yeah I, you know I thought I'd get him some little books because you know, the majority of things that I bought him are clothes, so, you know, just to help uh, 
his granddad out. So we're moving on. I'll, I'll get back to Babby's clothes in a minute. So I'm going to Poundland now. And um, <laughs> I ought to make my mind up. Am I on a diet? Am I not on a diet? No, I am on a diet. But I couldn't resist these. And my, my, I was, is it snowing? Yeah, it's snowing. My, um, I was going to, I was going to, um, what we're trying to say here, Claire. I was going to eat one, one at least one or two uh, before <clears throat> the diet started today, but I just haven't done it. But the calories in on on uh, per bar is 185 calories. So if I save 185 calories, and even if I cut that in half, I could have two. Because, you know, they're quite nice. I, and I really like them. You know, I like aloe vera, weirdo. And I like Turkish Delight. It's a bigger weirdo. I just like them. I'm not saying you're a weirdo if you eat them. But obviously, I love them myself. I just thought that people might think, ew. But I love them. Um... <clears throat> And I, and I picked up, because I broke that vase, guys, you know, that, um, that I still haven't shown you yet. I broke the stem off that um, beautiful urn uh, vase, glass vase. So I picked up another one of these for a pound. They're perfectly fine. So I picked up one. No, I picked up two <laughs> for one pound each. Such a lumpty. Oh, look, I didn't give these to the... To the kidlets that um, got the knees, pound each, cream egg twisted, well, more brownie points for me then, um, and I picked up this mixing bowl, um, did I need a mixing bowl, probably not, did I want one, yes I did, um, Sometimes, you know, if I've got a few things on the go, say I'm making a fresh potato salad and I'm marinating some chicken, you know, I I have to go to my salad, uh, my plastic salad bowl that I would take outside. Uh, I've got a nicer salad salad bowl than that. It used to be on the back here that's been hand carved. I'll show you that uh, when I shift this because I'm going to bring it back out. It's hand carved and uh, from the Czech Republic. Um little tail to that and he's, he's so lovely my, my friend Sai um so yeah I, what I like about this mixing bowl is if you can see it's got measurements on it so it's got measurements in milliliters fluid ounces cups and pints which is good isn't it if you're doing it in cups um you know if you're following a recipe and it's an American recipe it'll come in handy so for a pound and it's quite a nice bowl and it's a very good size it holds up to 400 milliliters which is a hundred more than 120 fluid ounces which is seven pints uh slightly because that's where the mark comes to so you can get more in it and which is 14 cups so that's fantastic i'm really happy with that bowl and i picked myself up this and it's not to wash the it's a dish brush and it's not to do the dishes with it's to do the grout in the bathroom I'm sick to death of it you know i'm due a new bathroom uh, i'm overdue a new bathroom but we've had covid you know i should have had my bathroom by now um it's uh, horrible absolutely vile uh but there's nothing i can do about it because they've sent me a letter I should, so when they said last year we can't come in we'll have to do next year now they sent me a letter to say that they'll be coming in next year um, at which point, you know, I'm, I'm going to be tearing my hair out because and I won't need a hairdresser because, you know, I've got a hole in my kitchen ceiling, you know, uh, a hole in the bathroom floor. And it's all down to the bath being on a the, the baths on a tilt, basically, the way that they put it in. And they wouldn't have it when every time I contacted them over 17 years. Well, it's 18 now uh, telling them about this hole, uh, not about the hole, about the leak. And it's been you know, coming through and it's created a hole in my ceiling and a hole in the in the uh, bathroom floor. So the whole floor, they've already told me the whole floor's got to come up. But before they start working above that, you know, that's my, my, my there's a big hole in the kitchen. So it's above. 
so what they that that debris from the bathroom is going to come through that hole and into my kitchen so they're gonna to have to sort the kitchen out i'm hoping they knock through uh this wall here uh and extend it because that's what they're doing in everybody's um houses round this way uh at the moment well not at the moment but you know but that's what they're doing uh, and I'm hoping they knock through, which means I'll have a smaller living room and this will be my kitchen that we're sitting in now. I really hope and pray, but I will be on their case next year because, you know, so that brush, gosh, that was a tail, wasn't it? That brush is for the grout in the bathroom because it's that old, you know, and um, it's driving me mad. It's just driving me insane. Anyway, on with these clothes. You really didn't need to know all that story, did you? But you know when something ticks you off and gets... I had a little bee in my bonnet then. When something really gets you down for so long, you know, just thought I'd have a little... I'd have a little... So in um, Poundland, they have a Pep & Co. Um, and I picked up some little, some little um, short sleeve bodysuits uh, for my nephew. And I picked up this little outfit. So they were, they're 12 to 18 months. And they were £3.50 for three. Now my mum picked up, uh, well she didn't, I picked them up for her the other week from Tesco. 10 bodysuits for £10. So that's your better deal because there's three there for three fifty, Whereas 10 suits for £10, so they were a pound each. And um, I'm just going to, this was £2.50, this little this little t-shirt wild thing crocodile quite nice because it's um that's been stitched on there um and that and the tree so quite nice um well i would i would have left it in the shop if it wasn't nice but um two pounds fifty that was and then i picked up these little pants to go with it and you've got um Lions, crocodiles, elephants, uh, palm leaves and fern. And they were... Now that waist to me looks quite small. You know, for a 12 to 18. So with that said, and I don't know, because I, I, you know, my it's been a long time since my babies were baby baby babies and so I'm, I'm, I'm out of sync with with sizes and stuff however I got these now this is what I bought you saw them on my hanging on my door hang uh, door handle uh, last week these outfits from Tesco's uh, and these these are 12 to 18 months and these were 10 pound for three um for three sleep suits little star I don't know That stripey one doesn't say anything, it's just stripey. So three of these for £10, uh, 12 to 18 months. So I just want to, guys, and I got this one. Now, I love this one. Look at that. And this was £10, £10. So you've got your, pa uh, uh, is he a panda? <laughs> we've done this before me and you haven't done this before me and my nephew did this when i was showing him on the phone because you know i'm just as the same when i'm talking to anybody in in real life as what i am when i'm talking to you and i have to point things out even my sister-in-law said to me <laughs> you know you're always describing stuff and i do i can't help it um he's not he might not be a panda but let's call him a panda for the sake of a row panda elephant, uh, tiger, lion. Now, isn't that a lovely little suit? £10. So I'm just going to now compare this to the length of these. And the length is quite... Hang on, let's get it up to the crotch. No, just coming up a little bit shorter, guys. Just a little bit. Just a little bit shorter. So it goes to to show you, you really do get what you pay for, don't you? 
Um, and let's feel the quality on these on these suits, on these body suits. Vests, aren't they? A little bit thinner than the sleep suits, but I'm pretty sure they're going to serve their purpose. And um, you know, Grandad's going to be helped out in some way. And baby's going to be comfortable, which is great. So, I think that's it. We've come to the end of the haul, guys, which you're probably thinking, thank goodness for that, because it's gone on for so long. So I'm going to very quickly tell you about the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a wreath. Um, I haven't got it at the table because I haven't made it, <laughs> truth be told. I haven't made it yet because I've not done anything at the table with it being Easter and I have a table um, all decorated. I've still got my um, thingy there, but I've moved the jars of uh, the jars of sweets and these little things and I will be slowly but surely moving things away. So I'm going to be doing a wreath, give it a giveaway of a wreath, a door wreath, a front door wreath. Or you can have it in your living room if you want or wherever you want to put it. I think I'm going to do it on an evergreen base um, and I'll tell you for why because I'm thinking of uh, transportation and the, and uh, how I will get it to you without being damaged, shaken about, thrown in the back of a van, whatever. Um, and so I'm going to do it that way so that I can secure it in the box. Um, so it'll be on an evergreen wreath base. I'm not sure of the colour but if you're interested and you'd like to um, enter all you need to do is you need to be subscribed, you need to like, hit the no notification bell so you get notified when I next upload, um, and you need to comment that you, you know, you'd like to enter. And then what I will do um, towards, how long should we do it for? Uh, eight to ten days. Um, I will announce the winner by going on the comment picker, so that's why you need to uh when you comment you need to comment that you'd like to be entered i will put it into the comment picker that i will film and you know then just get in touch with me via my email which is always in my description box um to give me your address um and so if you'd like to enter then that's all you need to do guys and i'm going to run it from between eight to ten days um and i'm pretty sure that i will pop in well, obviously I will because I, you know, I come on um, regular, but I'll be able to show you. Um, I'll be able to show you what 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 is up for grabs, which will be a lovely um, wreath, and it's going to be on a twelve inch base, but it always comes out slightly, slightly bigger. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, please enter and you know stick around. Uh, like I say, but it needs to be on this video, guys. I'm getting myself all flustered because I've never done one before. It needs to be on this video, literally, because uh, that's where I can put you into the comment picker, if you know what I mean, off this video. I think what you have to do is you have to, you, you put this video into the comment picker and it, it will pick the, the, comment, the comment at random. So it has to be this video that you like, subscribe, comment and hit the notification bell. So that's it for this one, guys. And thank you so much because, you know, I, I've gone on, but I knew I would because it was, you know, I had a lot to show you. And whether you got anything out of it, I don't know. Uh, I did because, you know, I really enjoy having a channel with you all and popping in and, and, and seeing you all. And um, I hope you've all had such a lovely Easter. And um, I will be back soon but I'm not entirely sure what I'm coming back with because I've got so many fingers in pies irons in fires whatever you want to say uh, I'm not too sure what you know and I've got um I've got to, my sister my other sister Mandy she wants me to make her something she'd seen the white mother's day um remember I did that recently on another video she'd seen that 
the white Mother's Day arrangement that I've done my mum and she wants, but she wants different colours. So she wants something similar. So I need to do one of those. I need, still need to do those door reads because my, my door is going to be naked again. And I've got a jug from a friend that wants me to do, fill her, I'll show you, it's just here. She wants me to do her an arrangement in this. Um, and so, you know, there's plenty of things coming up, but I wanted to do this haul and I wanted to get that giveaway uh, underway. So thanks for watching, f for watching. <laughs> and um, I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.